game of the week. Brought to you by Sutton Link. Battle of East Texas unbeaten tonight in Nacogdoches. The Beckville Bearcats went up against the mighty Timpson Bears. Patrick Cunningham joins us live from the home of the SFA Lumberjacks, Homer Bryce Stadium, to break down this Piney Woods postseason matchup. Patrick, take it away. Garrett, tonight a clash of the Titans in this 2A Division I regional semifinal. Both offenses known for their explosive offenses, but which team would come out on top? Let's get to those highlights. Both teams coming in undefeated district champions here in the third round of the playoffs. First drive for the Bearcats. Quarterback keeper for Ryan Herons. He bounces off the pile and gets Beckville on the board. Nearly a nine-minute drive to start the game. Only one pass, and it's 7-0 Beckville. Now fourth down for Timpson. QB Terry Bussey decides to keep it himself, too. He heads outside and has a lot of room to run thanks to the, some great blocking. He heads untouched down the sideline for a 45-yard touchdown. Extra point made it 7-7. Seven Next drive for Beckville. Harris is under pressure. He rolls out. He's going to try and step up and get rid of it, but gets hit from behind. Ball comes out, and falling on it for the Bears is Logan DePepe. He would have a sack later in the half, too. Great field position for Timpson. Early second quarter, direct snap goes to Braden Courtney, gets a wall of blockers, finds his way to the outside, and sneaks inside the pylon for another Bear touchdown. That gave Timpson their first lead, 14-7. Later in the quarter, Big Fella's in for the Bears, but Bussy hugs it tight and barrels his way in for his second score of the half. Touchdown, Timpson. That made it 21-7. Beckville would score with a 30-yard touchdown pass in the final seconds of the half to make it 21-14 at the break, but let's check that final score. Timpson would pull away in this one after being tied 21 all in the third. The Bears score three unanswered touchdowns to win 42 to 21 and advance to the state quarterfinals. Believe it or not, though, 42 points is their lowest point total for their offense this year. Now, after the game, I spoke with Coach Thurwanger, who talked about how his defense stood up to hold the high scoring Bearcats to just seven points in the second half. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, they did a great job. My defense coordinator, Patrick Mandy, does a great job with these guys. And, uh, you know, to, to really hold that bunch to seven points in the second half, you know, and, and we, we told them they were going to onside and it came out. But, you know, they still did a great job executing, got the ball, went down and scored. But, uh, you know, our kids just battled back. Now, Coach Thurwanger told his group after the game that they are three rounds down with just three rounds to go for that coveted state championship trophy. Just one of eight teams remaining in 2A Division I. Reporting live in Nacogdoches, Patrick Cunningham. Garrett, let's send it back to you in the studio. Great job out there. Patrick Timpson will now get ready to take on Centerville.